，呃，冷焊机的钨针和雅虎焊伸出来的长度也不一样。像我们冷焊机的钨针要伸出来这么长，大约是三到五毫米，不能包在瓷堆里边。而像传统的雅虎焊，它一般都是这样包在里边。冷焊机不能这样包在里边，一定要伸出来三到五毫米。Today is China's 71st anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. We used a coal welding machine to weld the Chinese character China on the stainless steel plate with welding wire. Happy birthday to my dear motherland! The welding bead is very bright and beautiful. The operation of the cold welding machine is divided into two parts. It is necessary to master the welding. First, the tungsten needle must be ground into a cone shape, not as sharp as argon arc welding, and then the tungsten needle tip must be aligned with the welding during welding. In the middle of the seam, the distance between the needle tip and the workpiece should be controlled within one millimeter. The closer the distance is, the better. That it should not stick together. The angle between the gun and the workpiece is between 75 to 90 degrees. It is no problem to master these operations. If you want to use a cold welding machine for welding, the welding seam should be as flat as possible, and the gap should not be too large or too many burrs, which will also affect the welding effect. Two cold welding machines are often used for repairing, and the advantages are obvious. Relatively speaking. The operation of molten wire repair is simpler than welding. Hold the welding wire in your left hand and hold the welding torch in your right hand. The welding wire will be flattened and will not move. The tungsten needle tip is one millimeter in front of the welding wire, so you can easily operate. Generally speaking, the operation of the cold welder is still simple. As long as you are not too old and can't see clearly, you can get started quickly. There are also customers who are more anxious. Once they took the equipment and found out the effect of welding before they came out, they became anxious and felt cheated. In fact, a new product has never been touched before, so you have to spend half a day to adapt to it and half a day to learn to operate a new device. This time is not long. There are also a small number of customers who can weld with very good results. After all, this is a small number. And the patience is still necessary. As long as the quality of the cold welding machine you buy is up to the standard, and you haven't encountered that kind of cheap refitting machine, the cold welding machine will not let you down. What gas does the cold welder need? What is the working principle of the cold welder? The cold welding machine needs to use argon gas when welding. The cold welding machine is a high-frequency pulse instantaneous discharge. Using a charging capacitor with a cycle of 10:3 tilde 10:1 seconds and an ultra short time of 10:6 tilde 10:5 time discharge, no heat accumulation after welding, low temperature after welding, cold deformation. So it is called cold welding machine. The working principle of cold welding machine is pulse spot welding. The smaller the current, the faster the pulse time. The cold welding machine generally welds around 12 joints in one second. And the length of manual welding in one minute is about 70 cm. Argon with a diameter of 1.2 mm, 1.2 mm is a single atom without chemically active gas. It will not react with other elements or compounds. Argon is often used as a shielding gas to prevent the welding parts from being oxidized by air. Therefore, cold welding machines also need argon when welding. Gas is a protective gas. The amount of argon used in cold welding machines is very small, about one fifth of that of argon arc welding, which can save part of the production cost in the production process. There is another series of cold welding machines, electric spark surfacing repairing machine, also called casting defect repairing machine, which is mainly used to repair cast iron, cast steel, cast aluminum, cast copper parts such as porous trachoma, bumps. Looseness and other casting defect for repair and mold coating. This series of cold welders can be welded without argon.